Have you ever wondered what a thousand dogs looks like in hardcore Minecraft? Well, be sure to keep watching if you want to find out. Because in this video, I tame 1,000 dogs in hardcore Minecraft. Also, guys, I'd just like to say thank you for the support on this hardcore series so far. And please remember to leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode. Anyways, on with the video. Alright guys, we're now back home after collecting all of our resources from the end. And you may be wondering why I'm doing this episode. Well, as you know, in the last episode, we tamed our brand new dog, Mark. And over the last few days, I've noticed that Mark has been getting very lonely. So I thought, what better way to cheer him up than by getting him a thousand brand new friends. But before we do that, we've got some carrot business to attend to. So these brand new fresh carrots are to represent 3,000 of you guys that subscribed since the last episode so thank you guys and if you want to make this carrot farm even bigger don't forget to subscribe because in every episode i'll plant a carrot for every 100 new subscribers anyways on with the video all right so getting a thousand dogs is a very ambitious goal and if I'm lucky, it won't break my computer. But I think the place to start is by getting Mark a girlfriend. So then they can make lots of puppies and we can get closer to that 1,000 dog goal. So let's grab ourselves some fresh bones and head out to... F Excuse me. And head out to find Mark a girlfriend. All right, it's been a couple of days since I last spoke to you, but I think I've spotted some wolves. I think they were just over this hill. Oh, there they are. All right, there's two of them. Let's tame them both up and maybe Mark can have two girlfriends. There's one. Oh my God, this one's a greedy one. All right, there we go. We've got two. Let's just check around the area to see if there's any more quickly. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> there's one hiding behind a tree. And Mark can have a third girlfriend. Okay, let's bring these three back to base. All right, we're basically home after a very long and annoying journey. Now is the moment of truth. Will these dogs like Mark? <laughs> if they can actually get through the door. Nice. It looks like two of them actually do. And one of them really likes nether warts. Okay. It looks like they're all friends. And the way we're not going to lose Mark is Mark's got a blue collar and all of the other dogs are going to have red collars. I would ask you guys to suggest some names for the dogs, but uh, we're going to have a thousand of them and I'm not naming every single dog. Anyways, let's go to sleep and we can build them a house in the morning. Okay. If I was a dog, where would I want to live? Hmm. Well, it would definitely be somewhere with some access to like animals like sheep, because I know dogs like murdering sheep. And because we're going to have a thousand dogs, it needs to be a little bit away from my base just in case it lags really badly. All right, so I'm thinking this area could be good if we flatten it out, but we're definitely going to have to get a good shovel for that because the best I've got is an iron shovel and that is going to take forever. There's a diamond shovel and let's see what we can get. Silk touch. Uh, I'm breaking three, silk touch, not very helpful. Okay, let's try it again. Efficiency four, that's a lot better. All right, now we've just got to hope it doesn't break. All right, guys, we're back. And we now have a massive flat area for all the dogs to enjoy. And I think the next step is to build them a nice little house. Do, 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 do. And done. There we go. A nice little dog house complete with dog doors. Awesome. Okay, so let's move the dogs into it. Come with me to your new home. Here we are. Ah, it lets spiders in. No. Oh my God. Sorry, Mark. All right, where's the last one? There he is. All right, now in the morning, it's time for the first batch of puppies. All right, puppy time. Uh, I don't have much meat, uh, as you can see, but I am going to use it all on my dogs. And now we unsit them and let them make puppies. Oh my God, they're so cute. All right, come back. Did the other one run away? Yes, I think they did. Okay, we have one piece of steak, which is going to be a problem. And I don't think we're going to get enough meat from our cows because we don't have a thousand cows. So we've got a bit of a meat problem. And if these six dogs are going to turn into a thousand, we've definitely got to solve that problem quickly. And I think I know how we're going to do it. In fact, the answer is right there. Yes, that's right. We're going to breed our dogs with rotten flesh. 
because they like the taste of it. And I know exactly where we can get an unlimited supply of it. So if you remember back in episode three, when we were getting stacked, we bumped into a zombie spawner. So I think we're going to make that into a nice little rotten flesh farm. Now, if I can just remember where it is. And there we are. All right. Our very own zombie spawner. And to be honest, I've actually never made an XP farm like this. So I'm going to have to look up how to do it. So I'll be right back. All right. So it looks like to start, we need to dig out a nice big area. So let's get to it. All right, there we go. We've got a nice big area. Okay, so next we need to make sure it is connected to the roof. Nice. And now we need to make an unlimited water source quickly. And then we need to dig a too deep trench here. And now we need to place water all along this wall like that and now we need two water buckets one on each side and put it there and there and now in the middle we need to dig a nice little tunnel let's fill this area in and then for this next part we're gonna need some soul sand so we need to go grab it from our chest all right we're back and i think i know what we have to do next on the third block in we're gonna put signs i think and then we're going to take these three out and we're going to want to put our soul sand here so we can make like a bubble column that will go upwards we're going to want to go and place water there water there and i think we're going to need to go up 21 from here so let's do it all right so we've got it 21 blocks up now we want to dig out this way one, two, three, four, five, and then six. And on this block, we want to dig down one and then place a sign here to stop the water. And then we want to dig down 21 blocks. But I'm going to do this in twos just in case there's lava. Oh my God, there was lava on the very last block. All right, so that is a 21 block drop. And now we just need to build the little collection chamber part where we're actually like killing the zombies to get the wrong flesh. Okay, nice. And now we need to make some half slabs real quick. And we need one there and two there. And then we need to dig one down around it. Ah, more lava. Great. And this full block here is to stop baby zombies getting through. So we can just hit them. And they should be really low from the drop anyway. So it will definitely be one hit, especially with this sword. And of course, looting three is going to help a lot for getting all of that juicy rotten flesh. All right, nice. Now let's test it out and get rid of all of these torches. Here quickly. One, two, three, four. All right, zombies coming. Let's run. We need to get out of here fast. And we need the half slab. Oh my God, baby zombie. Okay, nice. All right, we're protected. That was pretty intense, actually. I should have eaten first. All right, we've got one baby zombie, so it's definitely working. Uh, this is all covered up. Nice. Let's go AFK here for five minutes and let the zombies stack up and then see how much rotten flesh we get. All right, I'm going to start using my sword and let's see how much rotten flesh we get. Oh my God, we got 34 from our first hit. That is going to help a lot. All right, guys, I've been doing this for probably only about five minutes now and we've already got three stacks and a little bit of rotten flesh which is going to be more than enough to get a start on breeding our 1,000 dogs. So I think I'm going to leave this for now and head back to the dogs. All right, it's raining, but it's time to make some more puppies. All right, guys, I hope you like rotten flesh because uh, that's all you're going to be eating from now on. Okay, rotten flesh. Wait, wait, what? Wait, no. Can you not breed them with rotten flesh? Maybe they're not ready to breed yet? They must be. Oh, maybe because they haven't been loaded. This one grew up and it's ready to breed. Okay, so we're going to have to AFK with them until they're ready to breed. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so it looks like they're finally ready. So let's get the next batch of puppies ready to go. And we have one, two, three more dogs. Okay, so in total, we've now got nine dogs, which is pretty epic. All right, I think we'll wait another day for them to be able to breed again. All right, it's been quite a while and we now have about 20 fully grown dogs. So once we breed these, we should be up to 30. Okay, so I think all of them have now bred and 
we should have about 30 dogs. And I think while we're waiting for these guys to be able to breed, we should probably go get Kevin because I left him in a hole by the end portal. Oops. There he is. Kevin, let's go. I'm sorry I left you here for so long. All right, let's head back to base. Okay, Kevin, you're finally home. All right, guys, as you can see, we've now bred the dogs one more time and it is very crowded in there. So I think we're going to go and grab some... Oh, hold on a sec. All right, as I was saying, we're going to go grab some materials and then we're going to build a big wall around this area so that they'll have a lot more room. All right, I think we're going to use stone bricks for the walls around the dog area uh, instead of cobbled deep slate because we're going to need that for an upcoming build. So we need to get smelting some of this cobblestone. There we go. All right, guys, so just before we begin construction on the giant wall, I'm going to go and get some more rotten flesh from the zombie spawner. All right, guys, I think we've got enough rotten flesh for now. Let's head back to the dogs. All right, so finally, one last thing before we begin construction. Let's breed the dogs one more time. Oh, it's so hard to move around in here. There's so many dogs. If this is about 50 dogs, I wonder what it's going to look like once we've got a thousand dogs. All right, once they've all breeded, which I think they have now, we'll sit them down around here and then we can begin construction on the wall. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Okay, so all the dogs are sitting now. Let's build the wall. All right, the walls are built and now we have our giant area for all the dogs to be contained. And I think this is big enough for a thousand dogs. What do you guys think? Let's hope so. Anyways, it's time to get back to the main focus of today's episode. And that of course is making dogs make smaller dogs. Right, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to put hearts on all of them with the rotten flesh and then I'm going to unsit them. So they all kind of do it at the same time. Oh no, it's going night. That's not good. We need to get this area lit up. Oh my God. They <laughs> that skeleton is about to die. Guys, watch out for the creeper. Oh my God. Please don't hurt my dog's creeper. I'm scared. Please don't blow up. Come on, guys. Attack the creeper. No. Oh my god, please tell me that didn't kill a lot. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, sit down, sit down, guys. Sit down, sit down. All right, it's the morning and all the dogs are sitting down. Now I just want to quickly count them to see how many we have. Okay, guys, so I did a count and it's pretty hard to be accurate. But at the moment, I think I have 171 dogs. That is the most dogs I've ever had in Minecraft. But it's only about one fifth of the way there to 1000 dogs. And I don't want to lose any more dogs to creepers. So I'm just going to light the area up. All right, there we go. Nice and lit up. Now the question is, is it breeding time? And I think it is. Oh my God, there's so many. I've sat all of these and still all of these. <laughs> Look at all the puppies. Oh my God. Okay, another little update, guys. All the dogs are now sitting and we probably now have about 250 dogs. I'm not too sure, but we are running dangerously low on rotten flesh. So I think we're going to stock up, but we're going to stock up massively. So I might even spend one or two hours just AFKing, killing zombies in the rotten flesh farm. And I'll be back once I have enough rotten flesh to finish breeding all of the dogs. Okay, guys, as you can see, it's been a very long time, but we have now got a lot of rotten flesh and I'm pretty confident that we won't need any more. So let's go breed some doggies. Oh no, I hope this stops raining soon. My dogs are all wet. Anyways, let's feed them some meat. All right, I'm pretty sure they're all bred now. Oh my God, they're all shaking at once. <laughs> let's just do some attacking. Poor skeletons. Poor, poor skeletons. Oh my god, this is so funny. <laughs> Let's stay away from the creepers. Come on, spider, hit me, I dare you. Hit me. Yeah. <laughs> skeletons just get killed. Die. No! Oh my god. All right, only wo one wolf died. Oh my god. Everyone's sad. No. Oh my god, this is why we don't walk at night time. Sorry, guys. Here, have some meat. Hope you feel better. I won't lie. I feel like it might be getting a bit laggy. Look at, the, look at all of their ears just grouped up together. 
Okay, guys, so if you can still hear me over all the barking, I estimate that we have about 400 dogs at the moment. So that means we're probably about two breeds away, maybe three, from the glorious 1,000 dogs mark. So let's do it. This is what 600 dogs looks like in hardcore Minecraft. Okay, guys, we've finally done it. We have got 1,000 dogs in Hardcore Minecraft. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already because this took a very, very long time. So I guess this is what 1,000 dogs looks like. And if you're wondering how I know exactly, before I started breeding the dogs, we had bred about 50 animals in this Hardcore world so far. And now, as you can see, we've bred 1,000. And there's one last thing I want to do before this episode is over. Instead of a throne for Mark, I've built him this luxurious doggy bed. Now we just need to find him. There he is. Okay, Mark, welcome to your new home. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.